Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I'm the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric. And in the last episode, we explored the railway switch, found a sign that points us to the mines, and then we went to the mines. Turns out uh, there's two sub -Ameri uh, South American companies um, who are willing to buy these mines. The entrance to the mines is collapsed and there's a... A missing railway track that leads in there same as there was to the quarry so that's a little weird um apart from that there mm, i think we got everything so what we have is we the traces at the mines are fresh there were there were some traces there smaller than the other ones we found and uh, we don't need to look anything up but right now oh that's the mexican i wanted to talk to Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable ah. journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? The Chile. Hmm. The Chileans and the Mexicans. Well, you got a beard and you've got wrinkles. Is that supposed to mean he's old? You've got you've got a nice smart clothes. Like I wouldn't call a bow tie smart. What's that? What what do we get? What are we looking at? Strong build. I don't see any of that. Got his cigar. And martial arts? I thought you were Mexican. Chile, but you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Burnt note. What detailed railway map? Mexican cigars, train composition, horse racing tickets. Well, it's obviously the cigars. Of cigars. See, si, cigarillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. When I start this. Hmm. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. What do you, what did we get out of that? Suspicious Mexican. Well, that's not enough. We're gonna ask the station master about him. Although you know this station master is, is not particularly trustworthy. Hey dude. I find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. <sighs> what do we got? Find out what the special wagon was carrying. Use the telegraph to discover more about the We Are Coal Company. Oh. The telegraph, you say. I can do that. I did think I was gonna have to look for a phone. Let's go use that. Let's contact Mycroft. Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply, and it is an interesting one. 
There are two companies, the Chilean Bar Barcazas and the Mexican Caracal, both wanted to purchase the Wea coal mines. The Mexican Caracal Consortium has established an initial deal and had prepared all the papers. However, the Chilean Bar 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 Barcazas, group aided by their influential connections, managed to snatch the concluding deal for the mines. And now we have We Are Coal and Chileans and Mexicans versus Chileans. No grudge. The Mexicans held no grudge against the Chileans. Business is business after all. Uh, what? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's not right. Find out what the special wagon was carrying. Well, what do we got now? How do we find out that they were holding a grudge? I missed a clue somewhere, didn't I? You'll find nothing interesting here. I'm Come afraid. on, you're my only help. I need you to do this with me. Where do we find out more about those companies? Because they surely held a grudge. Does Mr. Like the, like the dude really doesn't want to talk to me? Or is Mr. I want to call him Reddington, but that's from Blacklist and not uh, not this. Mr. Remington... Okay, I forgot his name. Oh, that's the wrong room. Come on, tell me more about those guys you had to deal with. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. Unfortunate. Don't touch anything, please. Hey. Cap in the floor, sheet of paper. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. A significant sum. Insurance policy number blah blah blah. Insurance organized by Thomas L. Robinson for his prototype called the Autonomous Electricity Generator. This policy par partially covers the loss of the prototype up to 50% of its value. Maximum cover amount 15,000 pounds. Insurance duration of one year renewable. Ha! So he gets a ton of money by, by the train being gone, huh? What do you got to say about that, sir? That is very interesting, don't you think? According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. Now I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station Master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. By looking at his bag. Find out what was carried. Complete it. Wow. Okay, fair. Well, oh, this is kind of a really, really cheap way of doing this. This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. <sighs> ah, man. Let's look at this whole thing. Any, any good size. We definitely want to get these two. Then we want to get... I guess... Well, we have options, don't we? I guess that. Uh, 
We have options. What do we get here? We want something appropriate here, but we can only have this. So I'd need to move that up here. Oh, that works already. Good, good. Lock picking was never e easier. Business papers. Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. This is an exclusive sales contract regarding the prototype in... Oh. An exclusive sales contract. Regarding the prototype invention dedicated to applying supplying electricity in an autonomous way, Emer Emerson Electric Company, the buyer, understand that they are purchasing this device as is and are in agreement. Mr. Thomas L. Mr. Robinson, Robinson is the seller is not responsible for any problems that may arise with the prototype after the purchase, whether or not those issues were known by either party at the time of the purchase. The buyer is obligated to make pay prepayment in amount of 10% of the prototype price in advance upon signing the contract. The remainder should be transferred with a one, within a one month term. Contract. This is an exclusive sales contract yeah, regarding exclusive sales contract. Regarding the prototype intention, blah, 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 Hong Kong General Electric Company, the buyer understands that they are purchasing this device as is and are in agreement. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Uh, not responsible for any, but okay, he sold the same machine to two different companies. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Um, three companies. Yet another exclusive four companies. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. Look at you. Look at you. Prototype has insurance. Prototype has many customer. Dude. Suspicious Mexican and we are coal and Chileans, I guess. Ah, Mexicans are angry. The Mexican Caracal Company held a garage against the Chilean Barcazas group as the Chileans were favored for purchasing the We Are Coal mines despite the Mexicans' preliminary, preliminary sales contract, of course. Mexican trap. The Mexicans organized the Chileans to stay on the train. That is why the controller removed all of the passengers except for the Chileans. Well, are they dead? What was Las Zarpas? Was that Mexican or was that Chilean? Gotta look that up. Gotta look that up. Something new to talk to. Uh, Les Sarpas. Documents. Les Sarpas is Mexican. -er. Hey, Robinson. You got a lot of people who bought one machine, huh? That kinda seems like fraud. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. Here. What are we doing now? Solve the mystery of the vanished train is the only thing left. So we got everything. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't have Mr. Robinson being in cahoots with the with the company yet. This doesn't work. Oh, that works. Robinson is a victim. Yeah, right. The loss of the machine is a disaster for Mr. Robinson. Even though he planted this f fraud, he has lost far more than he could gain. The insurance will not cover the total cost of the prototype. That's not 
that's not true. Robinson's motive. The loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson thanks to the insurance and the multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. That's a motive. That's a motive right there. Sabotage concealment? No, sabotage is more likely. Miss Chesterfield. Where's Chesterfield? Past Chesterfield is what I want to say. The ch train passed through Chesterfield Station despite our being unsure the station master sent the report. Road, somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway into the mines? No, someone stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the flooded quarry. Could be sunk. The train could have been sunk in the flooded quarry at Doncaster Station. Now you build up has been sunk. We have sabotage. We have chilanes were left. Missed Doncaster. Vanished earlier Mexicans drowned Chileans it was carefully planned murder the Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train in a flooded quarry to hide their crime the Mexicans inhumanity toward the Chileans has caused many lives we must act quickly contra contact Lestrade and or allow the police to perform their loud and swift justice even at the risk of international conflict. No, a criminal organization such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. Give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be protracted and turned to his own advantage. They didn't do this alone. They did not do this alone. But who do I talk to about? I will not move from here until I receive my reef. How do I? You have found and utilized all clues in the case. Please proceed to the deduction space. Inform your conclusion. The Chilean stay on the train was just a coincidence. The train conductor overlooked them. What happens if I do this? All disappears. Mexicans are angry. Robinsons. If I say Robinson is a victim, it works. <sighs> Robinson has a clear motive. What if I do this? How do I get Robinson's motive in there? Could be sunk. Let's go, let's go the route where the Chileans um, put the train in the, in the, in the mine. Let's see what that causes. Road into the mines. We have cannot be sunk. We don't have sabotage. We have concealment. What do we get inside the mines? Mexican sealed in Chileans. 
So what we get here, we need Robinson's motive in there. Chilean's accident. So Robinson is a swindler. No. Mexicans held no grudge. There's too many loose ends. They are angry. Train could be sunk. Concealment. Why do both of these go in this direction? I don't understand. Sabotage. Mexican trap. That is BS. Rode into the mines. Vanished. I've got all the fu uh, all the all the stuff. I want to talk to that guy again, the Mexican. Why can I not put Robinson in cahoots with the Mexican? This blows. Like the evidence says, de like the evidence definitely says, this guy was bribed from the Mexicans have been here for days. The guys, the guy's been waiting. We have the last Zarpas thingy carrying something away. Got the grudge against the Mexicans. We've got a Mr. Robinson who has a bunch of contracts. I just need to add it together, but it's it's not. It's not that my thinking is wrong or that my thinking is 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 BS, but um, it's that I can't make the goddamn connections in the deduction space menu, which is not cool. I do think the train is sunk. I just don't know how to get Robinson in here. But it's clear that we cannot talk to anybody anymore. We got all the stuff. It's all there. So I don't know how to do this with Robinson's motive. Robinson is not a victim. Past Doncaster. Station master reported it. What happens if I do this? It passed Chesterfield. If I do this, no. Cannot be sunk. Could be sunk. No, nothing works with past Doncaster. It missed Doncaster. Now we're at this again. Mexicans drowned the Chileans. But where do you want to go? You want to go right here. The only thing that that like little bubble does is have Robinson be the only, uh, the only guy who's 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 responsible for all of this. Missed Chesterfield. Wait, where's Chesterfield again? Chesterfield is that. Could have passed Chesterfield. 
Oh, game. I think I'm gonna cut this out until I get it. I can't do it! I can't do it! I cannot get Robinson and the Mexicans in one league. I can't do it, so I guess I might as well be a victim. But he profits too much from that, oh well. But this is my conclusion. Mexicans drowned Chileans. It was carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the ter terrain in the flooded quarry to hide their crime. Blind justice and um, risk an international conflict? I don't think that's a good idea. Or give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict even though it might be protracted and turned to his own advantage. I think political game is gonna be what I do. Confirm your moral choice? Yes. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble, but it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please don't tell me we have to dive into the lake. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Ooh, the master plan! Well, the case is solved and we shall be heading home. And may we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, what? Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case. In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He, he pulled through then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious and the method of transportation has its risk, but he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalist will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. Oh, he ain't happy. Some time later. Oh, he's got a guns. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! Are we gonna shoot? Oh, we're gonna shoot! Uh, hand- No! No, you dick! This story should have another ending, don't you think so? Yes. Nice. Good shot, Watson. I always knew you were a talented marksman. 
on the second try. Want another life lost in this case, Holmes. Oh my God! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons later on? Yes, but not in our sitting room, and not with you wearing a blindfold. Who would ever wear a blindfold? It was carefully planned murder of the Mexicans. Blur, 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 blur. Yes, clues found 23. Those are not all the clues. Mexicans drown Chileans, political game. Ah, space, hold to check your conclusion. Baseball game is here. Well, okay. Oh, 23 out of 23. We got all of them. Cool. Huh. I would have liked the Mexicans working together with Mr. Robbins and he he benefits and it's it's out of luck. Dumb. Not not I don't agree with it, but that's cool. We'll uh we'll leave off here and we'll get we're gonna be able to solve a new case in the next episode. Well we're not gonna solve that in the next episode, but we're gonna start it in the next episode. For the moment though, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.